Climate change affects our cities, it affects our infrastructure, it's affecting agricultural production, the production of our crops, and what crops we can grow in different areas over time. It affects the ecology in terms of invasive species of plants and animals in our environment, and the Prairie Research Institute at the University of Illinois is addressing all of these issues. The Prairie Research Institute has uh, about 500 scientists and engineers that work together ranging from climate modeling to geology to ecology to industrial process engineering to um, implement the latest technologies to reduce carbon emissions to the environment and to make our processes more efficient and to adapt to changing impacts on our ecology and our agriculture. The easiest uh, way to describe the Prairie Research Institute is that it's the home of the Illinois Scientific Surveys. The Illinois State Geologic Survey, the Illinois State Water Survey, the Illinois Natural History Survey, the Illinois State Archaeological Survey, and the Illinois Sustainable Technologies uh, Center. Collectively, we cover the biosphere, the lithosphere, the hydrosphere. The Archaeologic Survey tells us how people lived on their planet in the past, and the Sustainable Technology Center is helping people to live on our planet more sustainably in the future. The scientific surveys in the Institute were founded on the premise many, many years ago that the natural resources of the state needed to be studied and investigated for the benefit and the prosperity of the citizens of Illinois, period. This allows us to develop our objectivity from a long period of time. This objectivity allows us to not only be responsive to environmental issues that occur from day to day, but also us be able to anticipate those needs and develop the scientific research and service programs needed to provide scientific-based um, information. Many institute scientists are invited to participate in coalition planning processes as technical advisors. We are invited usually at the beginning of these processes and this allows us to understand the varied perspectives of the environmental issues that they're trying to uh, address. Our mission is to pro provide uh, the public with science that will help them deal with the challenges that they face. Um, we focus primarily on the state of Illinois, but our work takes us all over the planet uh, increasingly. Because Illinois has Chicago and in a major metropolitan area, we have abundant agriculture and natural resources. We are able to test out solutions to our problems here in Illinois, and then we apply them in other cities and nations around the world. One of our most important projects recently has been a project looking at the feasibility of sequestering carbon underground in uh, deep saline aquifers. We're taking carbon dioxide, which has the potential to be captured from many sources, and pumping it deep underground where it can be stored and be captured uh, for the long term. In a project uh, we're just completing the first year of, the Illinois State Water Survey, the Natural History Survey, and the Illinois State Archaeological Survey are all assisting the forest preserves of Cook County uh, in developing a natural and cultural resources management plan. Uh, Cook County is a unique situation. It's a county with uh, over 5 million people. They have 69,000 acres of, of undeveloped lands that are committed to preserving the native biodiversity of Illinois uh, in Cook County. Increasingly, these kinds of situations require multidisciplinary teams, and that's one of the real strengths of the Prairie Research Institute. We have this tremendous breadth of expertise, we have scientists who are used to working together, and we can build uh, multidisciplinary teams to address really complex problems and, frankly, coordinate them centrally. Uh, that's a capacity that not many places have. So one of our greatest challenges uh, as a society is going to be figuring out how to grow crops sustainably and at sufficient yields to meet a growing population and to do that with the changing climate system. We know that the combustion of fossil fuels is greatly uh, increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and increasing global temperatures. So crops in the future are going to have to be adapted to a new environment that they're not currently ex experiencing. In my field research in the soy face experiment where we where we uh, uh, fumigate crops with elevated CO2 to make them appear as they were 
uh, going to be in the future with the continued combustion of fossil fuels, we use quite a bit of carbon dioxide to inject into the atmosphere or around the crop um, to simulate these future conditions. One of the greatest expenses in our soy face experiment is finding a source of carbon dioxide to do our experimental manipulations. We can use that carbon dioxide that PRI is capturing through their engineering development work and use that for our experimental work at the soy face facility. Since our mission is really to assist in driving sustainability within the state of Illinois, we know that it's necessary to become a one-stop shop. This is really critical. So as a result, we've set up our organization so there's actually three different pieces to it. The first, of course, is a technical assistance group where we actually go out and we work with industry to be able to drive through sustainable processes and procedures. The second is applied R&D group because we feel it's very important to not do just R&D that works great in the lab. We need to be able to drive this out into the pilot and large scale demonstration. Then the third piece to it is outreach because it's great to be able and go out and work with folks but there's a critical component of outreach. So as a result of having all three of those pieces, we're a one-stop shop. People can come and find out all the necessary information they need to drive sustainability with their, their organization. We realize that this is a global environment. So as a result, we do a lot of work here within the state, but we also work on a global perspective. Because at the end of the day, if you worry about sustainability and you worry about the environment, it doesn't end when you go outside the state boundaries. That's part of the one of the key missions that we Im impact not only the state, but we impact the globe.